It's week 15 of the National Football League, and we'll see the versatile Debo Samuel. No one's been busier this season, as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. It's the 49ers and the Cards, next on EA Sports. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we got a good matchup in store as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gardner. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And leading him out is their fifth-year quarterback. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. And he'll be out right at the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. Now Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's good for 28 yards. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The Niners at 11 and 2 now. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust instead of just talking about. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. on this opening drive, not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there, turned it all around. Big moment. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. The heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. As of this moment, as pretty much everyone knows, they sit alone in that top spot, but nothing is guaranteed. They haven't even clinched the playoffs. So a good start, but a long way to go. And you know a blunt veteran inside their locker room has stood up at one point or another and said, you know that, you know all this means nothing so far. We've got to cover this, get it done. What do we want to be? It's like winning a title in August, right, in preseason. Doesn't count. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Purdy now to throw. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. 
And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Purdy will look to throw again here. Forced out to his left. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. Now Purdy. And a pretty little juke move there, but not a ton to show for it afterwards as he's brought down. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On play action, they'll throw. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. A huge play there for Arizona. 42 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That's a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. So eight yards on the completion there, and now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Holding, receiving team. Unbelievable. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. Purdy bootlegging it. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Well, I think you have to forgive him just a little bit here because he's out of the pocket trying to make a play, but he rushes this throw and just wings it downfield right over the head. Of his and he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Purdy from his own end zone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So a chance to breathe easier now. First and ten after the fourth down conversion. Here's Samuel. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Throwing here, Purdy gets this one to use check. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now that's all for a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 37. 12 yards there as they move the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Back to throw, Purdy. And he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Purdy with it on third and long. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. And his kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road.
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McBride. And they work this right up field across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's McBride. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now back to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's McBride. And they're going to have a first down and they're in field goal range as well. It's a down inside the 20. Now a timeout called for by the offense. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondell Moore, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 17-3. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Purdy now on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself we ask a lot out of these guys block and catch the football and got his man complete now san francisco gonna call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one now on first down it's purdy this one caught by kittle now the niners gonna signal for their third and final timeout and with halftime on the horizon they'll be out of timeouts from here forward this is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Purdy looking to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Purdy. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in five minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep up the scoreboard here. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. Oh, he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line, and they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far. And that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Saints who are out front as that inches closer to halftime. Amari Cooper, a touchdown reception. From there, we head eastward to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Najee Harris, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Lastly, let's get you way up to Seattle. See what's happening with the Seahawks. And in that one, it's the visiting Giants who have the lead. Saquon Barkley, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Both teams finishing up their half 
halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 17-3 the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. Cardinals offense, Trey McBride ready to begin another possession. You look at the numbers for him and thousand yards obviously well within his sights barring injury he will get there the question will he get there in this game well he would love to duh right of course he would <laughs> but you know watching him play this year we often talk about defenses you know allocating extra resources to try and stop a guy of, of his ilk but, all right rifles one that's going to be intercepted picked up by charvarius ward and they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40 yard line Here's Purdy on first and ten. Flushed out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. The left side is complete on the diving effort. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. Partner, if you and I were playing quarterback in this one, we would be really confident right now throwing it to him, wouldn't we? Yeah, he's been spectacular. He's just saying, hey, I was all state. I'll make it rain out here. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. And this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. That's caught by Ayuk on the slant. Big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Purdy. That'll be caught by Touchdown 49ers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Moody good with the extra point. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The football going back over to Arizona now. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 
Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he did not reel it in. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They're going to look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Now these two teams, you might recall, met back in mid-season, week eight to be exact. And it was the visiting Cardinals who came away with the victory. So now they've got a chance here to sweep the season series if they can get the victory in Glendale. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Hey, hey, on lock line. Reload, reload. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. They'll set up to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense has other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. He'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. They'll look to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Sets up the first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is probably a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a let down. I'm going for it here. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty ragged up, don't you think? 
Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's the second down and six. Purdy off the play fake. He's going to air one out. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. This is Samuel. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One yard brings us second and nine at the 35-yard line. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll buy some time right. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And the Cardinals are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Let's go now. No, no, left, left. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. This pass complete to Higgins. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Cardinals. They'll look to throw here on first down. A short one here caught by McBride. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Second and five. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 44-yard line. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that 
as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Reno, Reno. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 34. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On third down, they're going to run for it here. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the lead will hold at 10. And that miss should just about write a finish to this one. Yeah, they needed two scores, and they needed that field goal there to be the first one and still give them an opportunity. But now, with the time left on the clock, I think this one's about finished. So Purdy and the Niners down 20-10. to 10. A minute 17 remains. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And he has the first down as he's able to reach the ball forward and get past the line to gain. 30 to throw. That's caught downfield by Kittle. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. To throw is Purdy. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. He's got it for a late touchdown. They're probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. So this likely just to get the final score a bit closer given the time remaining, but they'll have a go for two here. Complete at the one. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there and worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. And the Cardinals have got it. So that should just about put an end to this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought quick, analytics into quick. the game, and someone has said here that the... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome. But a little whipped cream on top to their end. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field CD. They defend their home field against a division rival to get the victory. So this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more.